life won't stop till I'm rich. Say where were you when I was down bad and the money coming to me. Yo, what is up guys? In this video, we're showing you how you can make that amazing impact like Nadav V that you guys just saw in the preview. So uh, this impact has kind of like a green glint on it and it has a super cool like diagonal effect. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll show you guys exactly how to do it in this tutorial. So what you guys want to do first is go into the folder uh, that I had in the description. So it should be called new impact and it should come with uh, four things, uh, a file or an audio file, a clip, and then two DaVinci Resolve setting files. So what you're going to, want to do is drag in the the video 3mc shit on and now what you're gonna want to do is find the part where the character gets the kill so it's right here uh this exact frame right here uh where the shield cracks on the other character so what you're gonna want to do now is click on the video and click m on your keyboard which would add a marker and now trim it down and then drag it back so the markers line up and just like that you should have it synced up and it sounds pretty good uh, and now what you're going to want to do is uh, go on the kill and now go uh, 32 frames back so I'm just going to go frame by frame and uh, I'm not going to make you guys go through like me counting frame by frame so I'll just fast forward to when I've counted 32 frames back alright guys so this is the 30 second frame before the kill what you're going to want to do now is make sure that you've, you're on the 30 second frame before the kill uh, right click on the clip and click link clips and now click on the clip again and split it uh, grab this tool right here and split it on the 30 second frame before the kill and now you should have this section right here uh the sec there are two sections so one section right here the section on the right we're going to do is click on it right click and click new uh, make new compound clip and i'd actually delete the audio file so that's what exactly what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna find the new, uh, the i'm just it should be lined up still yes it should so now what you're going to want to do is uh, go into the fusion tab and make sure you're on the compound clip and drag in the yarn velo it is a generic uh highlights velocity really so i called it yarn velocity but it's really like it's like most uh it's like most velocities let's just say that and now what you're going to want to do is find the frame rate gets the kill now so for me it is right here where he gets the kill. So I'm going to add a marker there and trim the the uh, the section on the left a bit. Select both of them and drag it back. This might be a bit confusing. So you guys might want to go back, uh, you know, watch this video a couple times back, you know, just to fully understand the concept. So now that you've done that and you've lined it back up again, what you're going to want to do is go 50 frames in front of the marker. So, uh, the trick for this is click shift and right arrow key on your keyboard on the marker and then go 10 frames back. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it should be like that. And now I'm just going to split it and delete it. So, you should not have that much dead time after. And it should be like this. It should lag quite a bit. But, you know, it's normal because uh, it'd be using Twixter. I forgot to mention that you will need Twixter and uh sapphire for this tutorial uh i do have my discord server does have links on how you can get them so uh you know join my server and there should be a channel on how to get them in my server and yeah so now what you're gonna want to do is uh go into the effects tab right here and drag in an adjustment clip and right here as you can see there's an adjustment clip and make sure that you put it so the adjustment clip starts uh, at the marker. So it should be like an impact right here. And now trim it to where uh, the clip ends. So you should have this little section right here that's only on the kill. And now what you're going to want to do is go into the fusion tab. Go into the file explorer and uh, put green glint impact. And it should take a while to load, but it should eventually load in. And I'm just going to drag them in and connect the media into s underscore shake one and glint one to media output one and it should all connect together and like i said before you will need sapphire plugins but uh i do have links to that in my discord server so what you're going to want to do now is go uh back into the edit tab 
and right click on the adjustment clip and click render cache color output and just like that it should all render and i'll see you guys once everything is rendered out for the last step all right guys so now everything is finished rendering so i'll show you guys how it looks like and it looks super clean this is just like an adobe's impact but there's something that is missing and that is the shotgun sound effect so go back go back into your file explorer and drag in the striker headshot and just line it up with the marker so what you're going to, want to do here is drag it back so like the main jump in the audio kind of starts where the marker starts and trim it to where it ends and then fade it out like that and yeah that sounds super clean and just looks super clean in general so uh i think this will do it for this uh main tutorial i think it was like five six minutes long so uh, if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like subscribe i make these tutorials around like four to five times a week so you know if you guys want to stay updated with my tutorials you guys should subscribe and definitely hit the notification button uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace